Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Young Buck. Now, Young Buck is one of the legendary members of G-Unit. Now, G-Unit was a group that was formed together by 50 Cent back in the early 2000s, man. They had a great run in their individual success and as their success as a group. But when 50 Cent disbanded the group and they went their separate ways, there was a lot of drama to fall. And especially with Young Buck. And especially between Young Buck and 50 Cent. Now, it seems like the majority of what was going on between Young Buck and 50 Cent had to do with financial obligations, who owns what rights to his music, and who owes what money. You know what I mean? But outside of all that, Young Buck has had a lot of drama within the past year. I mean, I could think about two different stories we've done recently or within the last year where he's either been arrested or either got, you know, confronted with some dudes who tried to fight him. You know what I mean? Well, this time, it's the latter. It looks like Young Buck has been arrested in the Nashville area. Now, for those of you who don't know, he reps Nashville, so that's his hometown, right? And it looks like Young Buck then got locked up again. Now, before we get to this report and read this affidavit, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about Young Buck getting arrested allegedly. Now, I'm going to be referencing a story from allhiphop.com. And it says this in the headline. It says, Young Buck arrested for causing havoc at X's home. Now, I'm not for sure about this, but isn't this like the second time he got arrested causing havoc allegedly at his ex's home? I remember there was a time that she got arrested and I think it had something to do with a stabbing. Don't hold me to that, man, because I don't know what came of that case. But it, man, it seems like there's been a lot between him and his ex, man. And this obviously is some... Uh, not a good look for Young Buck. We'll say that, right? Now, it also says that Young Buck was charged with vandalism over $1,000 after showing up to his ex-girlfriend's home and damaging her property. Now, it looks like a, a damage of over $1,000. Eh, I mean, if it would have said something more, I would have thought, okay, he's going to be locked up for a longer time. But let's not forget, man. Young Buck has caught many a cases, it seems like, within the last year or the last two years. So it's, I don't know how this is going to end up for him, man. Now, I'm not sure if this is, you know, if he's guilty of this. So innocent until proven guilty. We'll say that. But we'll see how this turns out. Now, the story also says this. It says Young Buck found himself in legal trouble once again on Wednesday, February 2nd. So that's today. I hate to date the show, but that's actually the day that he got locked up. Now, according to WSMV in Nashville, and I'm assuming that's the local news in Nashville, Tennessee, Young Buck was arrested for damaging his ex-girlfriend's property. He was officially charged with dam with vandalism over $1,000. Now, I know there's a limit on vandalism, and I know that, you know, th they carry different sentences. I'm wondering what's the sentence that he could possibly get if he's found guilty of vandalism over $1,000. I mean, they have that amount set there in the charges for a reason, but we'll see how this works for him, you know, later on, man, because... It seems like something that he might be able to handle locally, maybe do some local jail time if he gets found guilty or even pay a fine or something like that. You know what I mean? But let's continue. Now, police apprehended Young Buck, whose real name is David Darnell Brown, at a traffic stop after responding to a domestic disturbance. Authorities caught him when they spotted a vehicle fleeing the scene that matched the description of his vehicle. So, okay, so it sounds like the police caught a uh, call that there was something going on at this residence. And then once they received that call, they started to show up and they saw a vehicle that matched the description of Young Buck's vehicle fleeing. So Young Buck was trying to dip, according to them, man. He was trying to get him out of there. Now, it also says that the veteran rapper's ex-girlfriend told police he texted her to say he was coming over to her house. Once he made it to her home, he began kicking the door when she didn't answer. Now, that's, that's, yeah. See, that's where he went wrong, man. You know what I mean? Like, as soon as she didn't answer, he should have just left, man. But a lot of rappers, they got, man, they got attitudes, big egos. And I'm not saying that he did this. I'm not saying that he's guilty at all. So don't hold me to that. But, man, if somebody don't answer the door, just dip. Screw it. I, I, forget it. You know what I mean? It ain't worth it. Especially you catch a vandalism charge. And you don't want to be, no matter what people think, okay, a $1,000 vandalism charge, you don't want to be in and out of court, man. You don't want to be dealing with this mess. You know what I'm saying? 
Now it also says that after Young Buck left the premises, his ex went outside and discovered he also damaged her vehicle that was sitting in the driveway. Now that's some spiteful type. Like what do, like most dudes won't do anything like that, you know? And I'm not here to dish Young Buck or anything like that. But to mess up a car, like that's not some dudes typically do. Like you go and do something to somebody's car. Like I, I can't even understand that. You know what I'm saying? It was Jasmine Sullivan that said, bust your windows out your car. You know what I'm saying? And she was holding it down for the ladies. But you usually don't hear about that from dudes, man. That's that's ridiculous, man. Hey, hopefully Young Buck ain't go out like that, man. Pick your man card up. All right, now let's continue. It says, officers confirmed her account of the damage with footage captured by security cameras. So they also had security cameras. She probably had like a ring camera or something like that. And they're saying that it caught the footage of the damage. So it's going to be tough for Young Buck to prove that this wasn't him if they have it on videotape and it looks like him and it's him jumping out of his car or whatnot. And he was arrested after leaving that place and being seen there. Now, Young Buck was released from custody after posting a $1,000 bond. A court date has been scheduled for March 1st. So it looks like he's going to be in court in about a month to see what goes on with this situation. But I mean, let's be real. I'm not going to inflate this and make it seem like Young Buck is going to be doing years behind this. I don't know if he's on paperwork or anything like that. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I remember when he got locked up for the whole thing with the taxes and all that. And he got locked up for another situation similar to this and i think it was like with another lady in new york it, it was it was crazy man i think he did a lot of time for that or at least a couple of years or so i don't know exactly but man we'll see how this goes because they're saying it's a thousand dollars you know that he, he he allegedly damaged her vehicle so we'll see what that was it's, i mean a thousand dollars sounds like a windshield to me if not a windshield a bumper or something like that not a major engine component or anything like that, or it'd be way more, you know what I'm saying? Now, the story finishes by saying this. It says, the former G-Unit member's arrest comes at a time when he's dealing with financial trouble related to his bankruptcy. The trustee overseeing his case has accused Young Buck of hiding hundreds of thousands of dollars that should belong to the bankruptcy estate. So on top of all this, man, he's being accused of hiding hundreds of thousands of dollars that are supposed to go into this bankruptcy estate. And it looks like whoever's been appointed the trustee is calling them out for that. Now, what do you guys think about this, man? What do you think about Young Buck allegedly busting the windows out them cars? And I'm not saying he did that, but you know, him allegedly damaging somebody's car, his ex-girlfriend's car outside his crib. You think he's going out like that? Or what do you think about all the drama he's had lately, especially since he's broken up from 50, hasn't been messing with G-Unit, just... Has it, it hasn't been a good look on the outside looking in for Young Buck. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.